Amber, what are you doing all the way up there? I wanted to see how the forest looks from the top. What a lovely sight. The green tree tops and the open skies. I could stay here forever. I know it's a lovely forest, but it's time to go home. Come down now. Okay. Mom, how many trees are there in our forest? I don't know, Amber. Thousands of them, I guess. Which one's the tallest? The people trees are the tallest. And which one's the second tallest? Amber, now what is all this about? I want to climb up a very tall tree and look at the forest, but it shouldn't be too high. Or I will get scared. Hmm, that can be solved. So tell me, what should be the perfect height of a tree so you can get a good view? A little higher than I was right now. Hmm, so about six meters. Okay. And at what height do you start panicking and not climb higher? I tried to get to the top of the people tree the other day, but it was too tall. The people trees are about eight meters tall, so we need to find trees which are between six and eight meters for you to climb. How will we do that? We'll make a bar graph. Bar graph? A bar graph is a type of a graph in which we show data in the form of rectangular bars or columns. Hmm. So listen. We have apple trees, mango trees, orange trees, neem trees and people trees in our forest. A mango tree is around 7 meters tall. An apple tree is around 5 meters. An orange tree is around 4 meters. A people tree is 8 meters tall. And a neem tree is around 7 meters. Now all we need to do is draw a bar graph showing these heights. <laughs> oh, but I cannot draw a 7 meter tree on paper. My notebook is too small for it. Yes, that's right. But what you can do is assume that every line on your notebook represents 1 meter. So, 7 meters will be shown as seven lines. Yes. Come, let's draw the graph. Here's a bar graph of the heights of the trees. And each line shows one meter. Yes. This is a vertical bar graph. Cool. While drawing a vertical bar graph, you can specify what each horizontal line shows. Like here, it means one meter, right? Yes, exactly like that. You can assume it shows two or five or even hundred, depending on the kind of numbers you want to show on the graph. Okay. So, you wanted to know which trees are taller than six meters, but shorter than eight meters, right? Right. Now, what are the bars that are within the two red lines? Mango, people and neem trees. So, there you go. These trees are perfect for you to climb. Oh, wow. That was brilliant, Mom. Instead of a vertical bar graph, we can also draw the same graph horizontally. Oh. This is known as a horizontal bar graph. The way of making this graph is the same. But here, instead of drawing the height, we draw the width. Cool. Thanks, Mom. You're the best. I'm off now. But wait. Where are you going? To find a mango or neem tree so I can climb it. <laughs> Let's revise all that we have learned about bar graphs. A vertical bar graph is a type of graph in which 
we show data in the form of rectangular bars. You can specify what each horizontal line stands for in a bar graph depending on the numbers that you need to represent. Horizontal bar graphs are exactly like vertical bar graphs. In horizontal bar graphs, we draw width instead of height. 